Hey YouTube, it's me, Brandy Sharp, beauty blogger, fashion blogger, hairstylist, worked behind the chair for 13 years, and now I bring all of my favorites right to you on my YouTube channel. Make sure you guys sub smash subscribe if you guys are a beauty and fashion lover. You guys will love this channel. Today, I'm diving in to the best hairsprays. You guys, if you buy products online, which I have to buy everything online, I have to share with you, I have worked with the best product lines in the industry, in person, have done product knowledge, and I have three hairsprays that I absolutely swear by. And I'm even gonna mention a fourth hairspray in here because from what I've heard, they just brought this hairspray back. If you're an updo queen, you might wanna make sure you stick till the end because I've heard it's absolutely the best product right now at a drugstore price. So my first three favorite hairsprays, strongest hold hairsprays are professional brands. I'm gonna dive in right away and just get down to the nitty gritty of hairspray. And I'm just doing this with you guys because I'm a total beauty queen. I have my hair done every single day and I just know the ins and outs of hairspray. And one thing I will tell you that hairspray that's trending that I'm not totally 100% sold on is the flexible hairsprays. Okay, and hear me out, here's why. Flexible hairsprays are just, they don't do a whole lot. I completely understand why people want them is because they don't want this sticky or hard feeling in their hair. That's completely understandable, but I'm also very much like, I want my hair done, I want it to hold the entire day. So this video is really geared towards those, those hairsprays that are really gonna contribute to you guys keeping your hairstyle for the entire day. Um, I do recommend one flexible hairspray, hairspray that I will mention at the end of this video, but I'm gonna dive into my favorites first. I'm just gonna dive right into it. This is my number one seller on my Amazon storefront, on my LTK, on the blog. This is the number one thing that my clients are also buying that I'm recommending. I want to say, I think it's because the price. Paul Mitchell is a very professional line. It's a very clean line. Their products are very clean. And I will say they're just old school good stuff. Like they just, they've been around forever and they've never really changed a lot of their formulas. And the Freezen Style Freezen Shine Super Spray, I will never forget when I was in beauty school, the old women always wanted this hairspray. And I just, you know, I was having a problem with my second most favorite hairspray. And I started searching and I was like, you know, I really should try a new hairspray. Um, it says Maximum Hold and it's a finishing spray. So anytime you look for finishing sprays, they are going to be the last thing that you put on because we need to be able to work through our styles. We need to be able to brush through our styles and finishing sprays are the last thing that you do. And I go in because you guys, I don't know if you've seen my other videos. I usually wear my hair really curly. I use a wave iron and I do little curls and I also do my curtain bang. So I use this for both styles and it does last all day. So I just wanted to mention it is a finishing spray it's a wet, heavy spray. So anytime your hairspray is very wet, that means that it's a higher hold. And one thing about wet sprays is if you have very fine hair, they can absolutely kind of um, wetten the, the style where it actually kind of drops your hair. When I use this, um, when I use this, I actually kind of use it before I do curls. And it's just a very wet, strong hold. It doesn't leave a smell. It has no smell with heat styling. So that was one of the reasons why this one overtook my number two top choice. So this is a very high hold, very wet. I mean, because even when you, um, hairsprays that have this kind of nozzle, they're wetter nozzles. Aerosol is a lighter spray. It, it, it's literally shooting out a lighter amount of product. These ones, this old school, that's a heavier hairspray. But I will tell you like when I do my curtain bang or anything else, I do this first and or I put I I have my air styler on and then I spray this wet and it like dries it into my hair and I have like this massive beautiful hair the entire day like when I do my curtain bangs and when I do smoother looks, I still use this because I'm able to still brush through the hair, but I have this like really high hold product in my hair. I use this one in particular because honestly, 
it um it doesn't get smelly and i just told you before i think it's a really clean product i'm going to go into my number two pro my number two highest requested number two selling which is the kendra 25. now i used this everywhere i went for updos any kind of styling the finishing spray 25 and i even think that they have a finishing spray that goes up to 27. i absolutely use this in the hair salon and I, I honestly always went back to it. Even when I, you know, for the hair salon, I always used it. Now, the the drawbacks of this one that I just want to go over because it's how this one took its place was I heat style and I style my hair every single day. So when I was using this on my clients in the salon, a lot of my clients don't do their hair to the extent that I do every single day. So the problem I was having with the Kendra is it was building up in my hair and then the smell, like when I would put my iron, okay, say I like did my dry shampoo, I brushed everything out and I wanted to go in and put loose waves in, my, um, I could smell the product on my iron. And then my iron would also kind of turn this color because it was the product. I even used their heat styling spray and I would get this smell on my hair. So it, that was just something that happened to me but as far as hold goes, these this is the highest hold. It is the truest hold for the for the amount of time. The only difference between this one and this one is I think that this one is a little bit whatever wetter spray. And like I told you, it doesn't build up on my hair the same way that Kendra products did. I also live in the country and I have other things going on with like my water and stuff like that. So um, I just wanted to mention these these two are the highest hold out of all of my career i bring with them i bring them with me everywhere and the only reason why this replaced this for my daily hairspray was because of the smell that i was getting when i used heating products after um when i used heating products after um i had already used this the day before because like i told you i redo my hair every single day it is an absolute super hold for sure. You guys will love this hairspray. And I do think that the Paul Mitchell is also more affordable. And like I told you, it is my number one seller on Amazon storefront. It's it's my number one seller everywhere I post about it. Even when I posted on Instagram, Paul Mitchell came onto my page and you know they sent me lots of love in my DMs about my long hair hold. It's an old school product, you guys. And I just, cause like I was telling you, I spray this product and I crunch it. Um, the last product that I had that's an empty, so it's a, this month's empty on my empties list is the Daviness Flexible Hold. Okay, I I still use this, but I will go in with Daviness at the end and I will put it on my hair because it smells like an absolute dream. It's literally the most best smelling hairspray I've ever used in my entire life. Anytime I put it onto my client, they were like, where can I get it? How much is it? And it just, it has this intoxicating smell and above all else, the person that notices when I wear it is my husband. He's just like, oh my gosh, what is that smell? And so I absolutely use it for smell purposes and I just feel 100% complete when it's put on my, um, put on my hair and it has this, I don't want to use the word musk because I don't think it's musky. But at the same time, I'm like, it has this aroma that is very smooth and it has a slight perfume and then it has a slight um, earthy. I don't want to use the word earthy because I always think of Aveda as earthy. So if you've ever used Aveda products, like they just have like these very natural smells. Daviness Flexible Hold Hairspray has the perfume. There's perfume in it. It's absolutely a luxury perfume. You smell expensive. So it is my third one that I have, have used it for 10 years and I just absolutely love it. These are my top three, you guys. I hope I helped you today. Let me know what you use. Oh yeah, and if you stuck around for this far, I'm gonna go over the fourth one that I mentioned at the beginning of this that I almost forgot to mention that I don't have either and I just seen that it launched. It's the Aussie Hairspray. It's the Freeze the it, it's instant freeze is what it's called it absolutely instant freezes i would feel bad bringing that to a photo shoot or if i was working on a client just because it is aussie 
Um, and the only thing that I ever remembered that was negative about Aussie was the buildup. So if you are going to a wedding, if you are going somewhere where you need instant freeze that it actually like the hair absolutely stays in place. Like right now I'm going to go out and do a photo shoot. I'm going to go and stand and do my photo shoot for the week. And, um, when I do that, I would absolutely use the freeze and shine because it literally will not move. My hair is completely frozen for women with short hair, women that do those short bobs and do any kind of thing where they want the hair in a very specific way for the entire day. Aussie instant freeze works above all else. It's incredibly light spray. So if you have fine hair, if you have fine, thin hair, Aussie instant freeze is going to be a huge recommendation for you. So thank you for sticking around for this entire thing. Let me know what you're using in the products or in the comments and let me know what you're looking for because I am going to be sharing more educational content around hair and just hair products. I worked in the industry for over 13 years, product knowledge but with the best of the best. So I can't wait to share everything with you guys. Smash subscribe.